Everybody is facing forward. The reason this is such a crucial demo is because you're either going to have bus in the end or you're going to have a lump of sad, dried out dirt. Okay? As you might have noticed when you're getting ready for school or enjoying the lovely weekend, it is getting much hotter in Chico. Okay? So we have to prepare for that. All right? Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is how to spray and bag your pieces from this point until eternity. Okay? So what I'd like everyone to do, don't do it now. When I'm done with the demo, you can do it. I'd like for you, oh, gross. I'd like for you guys to wrap your board um, not like around it but you just you want it flat around it okay so I'm going to put a bag flat onto my board does that make sense this is going to keep the board from sucking out all the extra moisture so I'm just gonna put one little spritz -ish on there, I do not want to create a puddle or a pool in here or else it's going to corrode like the Grand Canyon. Okay? Now when you're done tonight, you will spray it real good. You'll make sure your bag is nice and wet. And you will very carefully, just be careful because if you get it wrapped around the corners, the, the, the corners of your board can rip the bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it all go one direction so that the opening is near the bottom, okay? The reason we want it near the bottom is because we don't, gravity is a thing. So if we wrap it all toward the top, gravity is gonna wanna open it. Does that make sense? So we're gonna wrap it nice and tight with no air in there. It's all rainforested, your piece is all wet, and then you're going to spin the bottom. And now your piece is going to live in this sack from forever and ever, amen, okay? Now, while you guys are working, what I recommend, how many of you notice that your pieces are significantly more dry today? That's good because we don't want them to collapse, but it's also, we cannot continue on that route. At this point, once your piece is leather hard, you have to keep it there, okay? Which is a lot more difficult than letting it get leather hard, okay? So what that means is that while I'm working, say today I'm working on the head, I will make sure that my bag and my piece is sprayed and I'm not going to leave it out in the elements. I'm going to wrap it up like a shawl. Everybody feeling me on this? So that way I'm securing the parts that I'm not using. Everybody following? Okay. So we're keeping these nice and wet. Now the other thing is, is if you have a ginormous head, I didn't need to do it because my head isn't that big. Do you have your draft? Can I borrow your draft for a second? I didn't need to do it for mine uh, because my head's not that big. I need everybody's hands empty, please. I need I need the tool out of your hand, Nick. I need you to drop that tool. Thank you. All right. I just saw you use that tool. All right. So if you have a larger head, you can get some of this before you close it up and shove it inside. Everybody feeling me? We're going to have to take that out at some point but we're gonna have to hollow these out anyway at some point because we're gonna build things solid, okay? Don't, we're not, we're not that far yet, okay? Now the second thing that I want you guys to know, so if you have a large head, you might need some paper to support it while it's drying inside. How many of you think you have a large enough head that you might need some paper? Okay, all right, so the next thing, the next goal here today is once you get your whole, everybody just pretend like mine is finished. There it is, it's done. Uh, do you see how nice and, and wet mine still is? That's because I had it inside the bag. Um, so what I'm going to do here today is the the first thing, you ha I'm gonna have a Smithers check. I don't always have a Smithers check, but today we're gonna do a Smithers check. You're not allowed to move past this bus shape until I have given you the okay. What you need is you need to make this form exact and perfect. So smooth. So I'm going to use the alligator tool, and I and this is going to be harder if you let your piece get really super dry. Okay, it's a lot easier to do after you know one weekend of setting up. It's not, it's not dry enough uh, that I can't smooth it. If your piece is too dry, when you go to smooth it, like so, you'll still be able to see the ridges. 
if you cannot smooth away the ridges, then you're in a pickle. You can't use this because nobody wants to have a bust with a bunch of ridges all over it, okay? So what we're really trying to do today is we're trying to finish these busts. We're trying to get them super smooth and exactly the shape. Now, if I have some weird corner from a lump, everybody see that weird corner I have? I have a corner head. I recommend if it feels nice and thick, you can kind of tap it to feel. If you can squish it, try to squish it into this shape. But let's say you have like a, a, like a bowl up there then what you're gonna wanna do is score, slip, score some clay on, okay? Everybody feeling me? So while you're smoothing, you're assessing, like do I have weird dips that I need to fill in? If you do, score, and then everybody pretend that I'm slipping. Did you guys see that? I slipped it, and then I scored it again, and then I took my extra wad of clay and I scored that and then I squished it on, and I would wanna score everywhere I'm gonna squish that extra clay, okay? So you might need to, instead of using the alligator tool, you might have some bowls that need filling. Everybody feeling me? Once you've patched up all the, the, the areas that have filling, and you have scraped away all of the high areas, like that looks like a crazy high area there, I'm just gonna sand it down with my, my tool, and you're gonna take your red rubber rib, and you're gonna smooth all that out. This has to be so smooth, it should look like a toy that you bought at the store. Should not look like it's made out of clay, should look like it's made out of plastic. Is everybody feeling me on this? This should take you all class if you're doing it right. If you bring your lumpy sack of clay over to me, I am not going to approve it. I'm gonna point out every dimple, every little hill, and every little clay cellulite you got going on and I'm just gonna look at you okay like can you not see that do your eyes not work okay do not bring it over to me for a smithers check but once you get a smithers check let's say that I approve you your smoothness is amazing you are ready to move on the only other thing you're allowed to do today is to very 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 lightly with a needle tool draw out your design you're not going to sculpt anything. You're just going to plan Probably where things are going, okay? Not deep, but you're just gonna plan where it's gonna go. Do something better than me. But everybody feeling me on that? So if you have like a flower that's gonna go right here, if it's a flower that's sticking off, you can do like an oval where you're gonna stick it out. If it's actually flush up against the piece, you can actually draw it out where it's going to go. It's just getting ready to start getting 3D. That's all we're doing. We're not getting 3D yet, but we're just getting ready for it. Yes, yeah, true. Uh, what's the That's number one. Finish that first. Put some paper in there, close them up, then Are start smoothing. Like if you need to. Yours is big. I think you probably need to put a little bit of paper in there. All right, any other questions? All right, let's get to work. Thank you for listening. Spray these often, we're in the dry period, the dry hot period. You guys, just one second, everybody freeze. Shh. The room doesn't feel hot when we have the air conditioning going, but over the weekends, it gets probably like 90 to 100 degrees in here because it gets so hot in here. There's like not good ventilation, okay? So you really need to make sure that you're securing your pieces over the weekends, especially. Okay, come, come put your name up here.